everyone today I'm glad to greet you on my channel and I will teach you this super beautiful pattern it's called Starburst Granny Square uh, it's very cute and easy to make I love it I love the effect of these stitches and I think it's a very fast pattern and I'm sure you can get it just by watching one time. If you need, you can watch several times. And let's get started. So for this one, you need a crochet hook, scissors or something to cut the yarn, and four color yarn of different colors that can uh, match in some ways and that match your crochet hook size so I will uh, start by crocheting the, this part so we will start with the magic green <clears throat> wrap the yarn around your two fingers turn insert the hook pull the second yarn and yarn over pull up the loop so now we have to chain three two three and we will make 15 double crochet in the circle so in total will be 16 with the chain that we just made two three so yarn over insert the hook inside the circle pull up up. So for five, six, seven. So I guess you understood the principle. So we meet when you will have sixteen double crochet including the chain we just made at the beginning so I have 16 double crochet I have to connect to the third chain that we made at the beginning so I just put the hook inside the top of it and grab the yarn and pull through both of these loops now I have to tighten the magic ring the magic ring and to make the to make a loop and to cut the yarn so our center is ready uh, just pull the loop it's a circle so the next row we have to change the color and we will be working with the puff stitches around so the only thing you have to do is to insert the color another color yarn I will use a red one anywhere you want and then we will hide this yarn into the circle so later you can just cut. so now we are going to change the color you can insert the yarn at any place under any loop and we chain three two three yarn over and pull the insert the hook into the same loop and yarn over and under the same loop so now you have five loops and we do one more time 
and now you yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and chain one next one insert yarn over and you have to yarn over and insert three times to make a puff stitch yarn over so next one uh, the only thing you must care is to have the same length on the hook so the puff stitch looks cute so three times pull through all the loops on the hook chain one that's how they look like so you have to insert hooks three times one two and three yarn over pull through all the loops chain one and you continue to make these cute beautiful puff stitches and this yarn you can just put on the loop and crochet inside so later you can just cut I will show you how to make it like this so So you have the yarn that it's better to hide now, not to worry about it at the end. Just keep it on the ring so you crochet it inside. And under next one. As you see, it just follows you on the ring so it will be inside. So I meet you when I will finish the second row. So I have finished my last puff stitch and now I have to connect to the third chain um, of the initial chain that I had. So that's how it looks like. Chain one and we can cut the yarn. And now we have to change the color and that's how the center looks like now and I will use this cream color I will combine several thinner yarns to match the crochet hook size I like how this cream color actually matches this square so I decided to use that and we can start at any place as usual and now we will make a cluster stitch so you have to chain four one, two, three, four, and now you have to yarn over and insert the hook and pull through two first loops. Yarn over again, insert the hook and pull through the next two loops first two loops and we must have four loops on the hook so we have to insert the hook again pull through the two loops and you have four loops on the hook yarn over pull through all of them that's how look the first cluster stitch so basically you must have four loops on the hook and then yarn over so in order not to worry about the 
tail later we will just crochet it inside we are working into the space between the puff stitches so now you have to chain two yarn over insert the hook and pull through two yarn over insert the hook pull through two and you have three loops on the hook and one more time pull through two now we have four loops on the hook we yarn over and pull through all of them and now we have to chain two and you continue like that as i already taught you just put the yarn on your uh, project and continue to weave it inside so pull through two first time second time and the third time until you have four loops on the hook then yarn over and pull through all of them and then chain two i hope you got this stitch and you continue and we meet at the end of this row so I have finished my cluster stitch row and I connect it as usual into the third chain. That's how it looks for now. Uh, we have to chain one and cut the yarn. So the next step is to create this square um, edge. So practically we will have we start with the chain three or four and then three double crochet in three triple crochet into the same stitch and continue with three double crochet three half double crochet three double crochet and in this corner you have three triple crochet chain two three triple crochet so the different size of the stitch will create this um, square effect so we, as usual we can insert our hook under any of these chains space chain chain space and we chain four three four and pull it tighter yarn over two times and then pull through two pull through two and pull through two so you pull through two three times and it's called triple and we repeat same so into the next under the next chain space we have to yarn over and we make one double crochet in under the same chain space we make another one I got a knot here but that's okay and another half double oh double crochet into the next one we will make half double crochet Turn over three loops on the hook yarn over three loops it's a half double crochet oh what happened here the yarn is naughty so under the next one we have to make 
three double crochet one yarn over pull through two pull through two and the third one pull through two so you see it's getting like a straight line and now we have to create a corner under this one and we will start with a triple pull through two pull through two pull through two yarn over twice pull through two pull through two and one more time Insert two and the next step is to chain two to create the corner and under the same chain space we will make another three triple crochet Insert two and the last triple crochet so you see it looks like a corner so we have to repeat same stuff I use leftover so sometimes the yarn is not so well for using so next one is three double crochet and there's the same chain space and three half double crochet just yarn over and pull through all three loops yarn over pull through all three loops and as you already understood the next one you have to make three double crochet again oh today I use very weird yarn so I guess I will have enough to finish the square sometimes the yarn is naughty all right so we continue with three double crochet then we have to make another corner so triple And in do the same so I guess you understood already so I meet you at the end of this row so I have finished the last triple crochet set and I have just to uh, insert my hook into the chain and uh, well let me see under this chain yarn over and pull through the loop so that's how it looks like it's very pretty fast to make and I like using leftovers to create granny squares thanks for watching and see you next time